I've got a really, really cool announcement to make. Drum roll. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Exciting episode on store for y'all this week. It started, it starts now. I just drove four hours to Toronto. Only gonna be here for a few hours, too. I drove down here to MC the Kids Help Phone Nestle Charity Golf Tournament. I played in it last year and then I emceed at dinner. They asked me back this year, but they knew with my schedule I wasn't gonna be able to play. So I've driven in, gonna emcee the dinner, and then when it's over, I'm gonna drive back east. I've got about nine hours to get to Riviera de Loop for the match play tournament. It's gonna be quite the undertaking. The drive here was awful. It's just been on and off, nonstop rain. I just pulled into Angus Glen thinking I'd come a little bit early and get some practice in because it is tournament week, but I guess they got a bunch of this rain too because it's absolutely flooded here and it's like 2.15 and it's they're supposed to be golfing until about four o'clock or so. So I'm going to go check in and see what the heck's going on. It looks like there might not be any more golf for anybody today, but it's still going to be a really fun time um, emceeing this thing. I had a blast last year, so it's great to come back, see some, um, some familiar faces and meet some new people and continue to support what Kids Help Home's doing because I really, really love Love what they're doing. I was someone who wished he called Kids Help Phone back when he was a teenager, but I never did. So I'm trying to do the best I can to to give back to Kids Help Phone and help Kids Help Phone get their message out there. I still have enough time for a little practice session. This is the, the reality of my life sometimes when I'm doing these speaking, these mental health things, and I'm still playing a tournament. I gotta make the best of my time, so I'm gonna practice here for a little bit, uh, and then get to this MC thing, and then get on the road, upside to everything being cut short. I get out of here a little bit earlier, so it's not gonna be as bad a drive back to Riviera de Loop tomorrow, or tonight, tomorrow, afterwards. That's a wrap. That rain rolling in here, that storm rolling in here, worked out to my favor because the event is wrapped about an hour and a half earlier than it should have, so it actually makes my commuting back to Quebec a little bit easier. I think I might actually just go back to Ottawa, sleep back at uh, my parents' place, and then drive to Riviera de Loop in the morning. Awesome, awesome time. It's a really, really fun time to MC. It's such a change of pace from when I'm uh, actually just doing a straight up speaking gig. You get to have a little more fun. You get to have a little more uh, freedom to engage with everybody and uh, try to make them laugh, make them have some fun. But what's more important than all of that is the money that is raised. This event last year blew me away when it raised $328,000 for Kids Help Phone. This year, $358,000 for Kids Help Phone. A round of golf. And they only played nine holes. $358,000. Unbelievable stuff. Thank you guys so much for having me out. Um, I'm gonna drive back to Ottawa. See you tomorrow. Days ago. So that was when I came back from Quebec, four and a half hours. Then the next day I went to Toronto, another four and a half hours. So we're at nine. Then Toronto to Cambridge, 10. Cambridge to Barrie, that's two. So we're at 12. Barrie to Sault Ste. Marie, six and a half, 18 and a half. Sault Ste. Marie to Ottawa, nine. So we're at 17 and a half, 27 and a half. Then where do we go? Oh, Ottawa to Victoriaville. That was four each way. So 
we're at eight, so that's 35 and a half hours. Then where did I go after Victoriaville? Oh, I just did a round trip to Toronto and back yesterday. So that's eight hours, 43 and a half. Today is six, 49 and a half. Let's round that up to 50. So in the last two weeks, I've spent 50 hours in my car. That's more than two whole days in my car. Guys, that's just the last two weeks. Not to mention how much driving I've done since May when I came back up to Canada. This mini tour, this speaking life, I can't believe how many hours I spend behind the wheel of a car. It's, it's crazy. Riviera de Lou, that drive was long, exhausting, but really beautiful because the further east you go past Quebec City, terrain really changes because you're driving right along the St. Lawrence and it gets a little bit rocky. Really, really nice. And I'm only like an hour, less than an hour from New Brunswick. That's how far east we are here. What an experience though. This has been some serious, serious driving lately. I think I'm gonna end everything there, but I've got a really, really cool announcement to make. Drum roll. It's official that I've been given a sponsor's exemption into the Ontario Championship in a couple weeks in Barrie at National Pines. Pretty freaking cool. It's the last PGA Tour Canada event before the Tour Championship, so I'm gonna need to finish third if I wanna put myself into the top 60 on the money list and get into the Tour Championship. But that's not really the point. The point is I finally get a start back on PGA Tour Canada. I've had about, I've had 30 of them in my career, but only four since the PGA Tour took over the Canadian Tour. But I haven't been, I haven't played an event out there in, in, in over two years, 2015. So it's really, really an honor. It's a huge privilege to get a sponsor's exemption whenever you do, but it's super cool that this one is, is being given to me by the CJGA and Barry is like a little home away from home for me. What's more is the charitable partner for the tournament is a CMHA. Let that sink in. This is a professional golf tournament where the charitable partner is a mental health association. That's so amazing, like that doesn't happen. That's changing the face of things. Mental health is a, a charitable partner from a professional sport tournament. You don't hear that. That is just mind blowing. It's such a such an honor to be associated with that and be given a spot in the tournament to kind of wave that flag of mental health triumph and and it's just like it's so cool i'm going to be able to share a few words at the pro-am dinner which is a great honor as well i'm i'm blown away like i thought the cjga was impressive a couple years ago when they partnered with uh, with what we were doing with andrew's long drive and, and they wanted to talk mental health to their junior golfers and now they're they're stepping it up even more and they're they're talking mental health to a bigger audience when it comes to golf. This is the biggest tour in Canada. These are the best golfers competing in this country and, and they're raising money the entire week for mental health. Unbelievable stuff. Thank you guys so, so much for the exemption. It's being announced tomorrow, Thursday, on their media day, but the event is in a couple weeks. So hit me up online, hit me up on the comments here. If you're in the Barry region, you gotta come watch. You gotta come watch us play, root me on. I love the golf course there. I've played well there in the past. So I'm really, 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 really excited. It's gonna be an awesome time. Thank you guys once again for tagging along these last two days. I gotta get going. I gotta get ready for this match play event and I'm gonna start filming a new episode when the match play event starts. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they know this event's coming up in Barrie. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out what happens in the match play and you don't miss out on how I play in Barry. See you later.